Today, for the first time in 15 years, this plant is running at full capacity. The year was 2012. Then President Barack Obama spoke at Milwaukee's Master Lock plant, praising the company's decision to keep jobs in America. The story is very different today after the lockmaking company's announcement that the Milwaukee plant will close and hundreds of jobs will go elsewhere. CBS 58's Jenna Wells has been gathering reaction all day and she joins us live. A master lock spokesperson tells CBS 58 the Milwaukee plant will close at the end of March. This decision affecting 362 union workers. It's just uh, kind of unfair that they just dropped a bomb on us like that. Master Lock employees caught off guard by plans to close the Milwaukee manufacturing plant. You come here thinking you have security because you look at a building, that, a place that's been ran 100 years, and you don't think that it will ever close. A corporate spokesperson said Master Lock will fully transition manufacturing to other North American and global operations while leaning on external suppliers. Everybody in there from management on down to the last person are done. Milwaukee's Mayor Cavalier Johnson says he's disappointed and wasn't directly made aware of the decision. When you talk about the, the economy of Wisconsin, manufacturing is a key component of that uh, and Masterlock is pulling the rug out from under these employees. UAW Local 469 Union President and Masterlock employee Yolanda Nathan says plant workers felt like family. I've been here 20 years and it's like my half of my life. So I just started trying to wrap my head around on what's next starting over. The closure turning what was once a route towards retirement into an uncertain future. I don't want to feel this pain. This is like a breakup and I don't want to experience this ever again. Union reps confirmed to CBS 58 they have been in contact with leaders from Master Lock as of Thursday to prepare for that transition. On Milwaukee's north side, Jenna Wells, CBS 58 News.